Are you struggling with Praxis Elementary Education Science Subtest 7005 Life Science? Then this video is a video for you. My name is Tom and I'm a test prep expert here at study.com and a certified teacher and I will walk you through some of the problems you may see on the test. In this specific test prep video, I'm going to go over problems including how organisms regulate their internal environment, the concept of adaptation, biological systems, and the role of exercise and health. So let's get started in checking some practice questions. Which of the following is an example of a behavior that helps an organism regulate its internal environment? Is it A, hibernating in winter, B, migrating to a different habitat, C, sweating to cool down, or D, building a nest to lay eggs? So let's eliminate some choices here. So I'm going to eliminate choice D. Building a nest to lay eggs would be part of the reproduction process. I'm also going to eliminate choice B, migration. So migration isn't regulating the internal environment. It's moving to a different area that maybe has different weather or more food, but it's not regulating the internal environment. Two possible answers would be A, hibernating in winter or sweating to cool down. And the correct answer here is C, sweating to cool down. The sweat on the outside is reducing the internal temperature of the body. Which of the following best describes the process of adaptation? Is it A, a genetic change that occurs over many generations that increases an organism's fitness for its environment? Is it a behavior that an organism changes in response to a new environment? Is it a sudden change in an organism's structure that occurs within a single generation? Or is it a change in an organism's diet to increase survival? Okay, so what we're looking at with adaptation is a gradual process. So this is a process that could take many generations where an organism passes this on to its offspring. So anything that is sudden, like choice C, I'm going to eliminate here. So a sudden change is going to be eliminated. Choice B says a behavior that an organism changes in response to a new environment. Well, with the response to the new environment is not going to happen that quickly. So I'm going to eliminate choice B. And choice D says a change in an organism's diet to increase survival. Well, that doesn't talk about the gradual change that we need. So I'm going to eliminate choice D. So the correct answer would be A, a genetic change that occurs over many generations that increases an organism's fitness for its environment. So this is a gradual change that leads to adaptation over many generations. Which of the following best illustrates the concept of a biological system? Is it A, a flower blooming in response to sunlight? Is it B, the interaction of the digestive and circulatory systems to process food? Is it C, a single cell dividing into two identical cells? Or is it D, a bird flying south for the winter? All right, so when we think about a biological system, we want to think of a collection of different things working together to perform one function. So I'm going to eliminate the choice of bird flying south for the winter. And although A and C are talking about systems working, the key point here is I see the interaction in choice B. So the interaction of the digestive and circulatory systems to process food. So that means we have a collection of different processes that are working together in order to process the food. So I think the key word there is the interaction. So choice B would be the correct answer. In a lesson on healthy habits, the teacher discusses the importance of balanced nutrition and exercise. To help students understand the role of exercise in health, which activity would be most appropriate? Have students write essays on the benefits of exercise? Have students track their physical activity over a week? Have students create a healthy meal plan? Or have students observe how their heart rate changes during exercise? So we're talking about the role of exercise here, okay? So I'm going to eliminate the healthy meal plan we're focusing on exercise in this case. So while A and B are good choices, we want to have an activity. So I'm going to eliminate students writing an essay for the benefits of exercise and also tracking their physical activity. So the best, most appropriate activity would have students observe how their heart rate changes during exercise. So choice D. 
Those are a few examples of the types of life science questions you'll see. How are you feeling about them? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more on this topic. For more practice, check out Praxis Elementary Education, Science Subtest 7005 playlist, and for even more detailed practice, strategies, and customizable study materials, head over to study.com and check out our Praxis Elementary Education Science Test Prep course. With our resources, you know exactly what to expect on test day. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to get all the latest practice test updates. And please leave your questions and success stories in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy studying.